YouTube. So today, if you guys seen on my Instagram, I posted a picture of the... Where be? Oh, right here. Okay. I posted a picture of the new Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum, right? Pure Brightening Serum Foundation. Posted a picture of this on my Instagram. And I told you guys that I was gonna do a first impression review on this foundation. So that's what I did for you guys today. So first, before I get into the video, I just wanted to give you guys some facts about this foundation. I did a little bit of research, I've seen a few videos, and I talked to the lady at Bare Minerals just to get more information for you guys. So, let's see. First thing is that it is not available right now in stores. Uh, well, it's available in Bare Minerals Boutique stores or QVC, um, but then if you want to get this foundation in Sephora, Ulta, or anywhere that they normally carry um, Bare Minerals, it's not available until May 1st. So by the time you see this video, it will be available in like two days, three days. You do the math, okay? Yeah, I got this at the boutique store yesterday. I went in to exchange my foundation because I got a shade that was too dark. So I went in to exchange it and I saw that they had this, so I ended up exchanging my mineral foundation for this liquid one. And oh, you will see in the video how amazing this stuff is. So hopefully it holds up throughout the whole day because if it does, this is my new holy grail foundation, okay? Not sponsored at all, okay? Right now, if you do want to get it, you can get it on QVC, but QVC only has 12 shades um, versus their whole 20 shade range. So yeah, once it really becomes available on May 1st, there's going to be a total of 20 shades. Either go into the Bare Minerals Boutique stores or just wait until it comes out on May 1st. The fact that Bare Minerals has been around for so long and they have never had a liquid foundation, that's like... That's like the weirdest thing. When I saw the ad on YouTube that Bare Minerals was gonna have a liquid foundation, that's almost like saying McDonald's is gonna start serving organic beef, okay? What they basically did with this foundation is that they still kept their philosophy. This liquid foundation is supposed to be more of a skincare slash makeup, so which is why it's called the Serum Brightening Foundation. I'm just gonna insert like a, um, a picture from their website so you guys can see all the facts that they claim for this foundation. I got this for $29 yesterday. Right now, without any more talking, I'm just gonna let you guys get into the tutorial. Okay, bye and enjoy. All right guys, so ignore the brows because um, whenever I don't have foundation on, my brows just look really, really harsh. So it will look better by the end of this video, okay? I'm just gonna start with the foundation. It comes in a box like this. It's a plastic bottle, which is nice. Um, so that way if you drop it, it doesn't break on you. It's one fluid ounce, pretty typical of a foundation. It has a cap that unscrews like this. This is kind of different to me because I've had serum foundations before and they normally have like a dropper tool. But with this one, um, they just made it like this where you just drop it like that. I didn't buy the brush because I had the lady at Bare Minerals do one side of my face just to match, just to color match me. And when she used the brush, I felt like I had brushes that were kind of similar. So I just didn't want to waste the money to buy a brush because the brush that comes with this foundation that they created just for this foundation is another $29, which is like another bottle of this foundation. So I thought that was kind of pricey. So I decided not to get the brush, but I'll see how it works. If I do feel like I need the brush, I'll probably go and purchase it. But um, for this video, I'm just gonna going to use my favorite liquid foundation brush which is the Real Techniques by Samantha Chapman and um, this is the expert face brush. I got this from Ulta and it was only like, I forgot how much it was but it was really inexpensive. It was like less than $20 for sure. It tells you to shake really well because this foundation has only 17 ingredients in it I believe. Either 17 or 18. So basically it doesn't have any binders in the foundation or um, any type of things to keep the foundation together. So you have to really shake it to mix the ingredients together. Since I don't have that brush, that brush is designed to where you put the foundation in the center. You drop the foundation into the center of the brush where um, it doesn't absorb all the foundation. So since this brush is probably going to absorb this foundation since it's so thin, I'm just gonna put the, ooh, I'm just gonna put the drops on my hand. One to two drops is light coverage, three to four drops is medium coverage, and five to six drops is full coverage. So I'm just gonna start with two drops, do one half of my face, and then keep building it until I get the desired coverage that I want. So I'm just gonna 
one drop, two drop, and put it on my face first. Feels very light. It really does feel like a serum. And then blend it out. Whoa. Oh. Ooh. It is really blendable. Ooh, girl. This is really nice. Whoa, I have never had a foundation that blended out like this before. Well, that is so nice. It's like my skin just drank it up like it was a serum. Ooh, I think I already like the coverage. So right now I have two, two drops on this side. Well, I am really amazed right now. Do you see that, girl? Do you see that? Like, this side has foundation, and this side doesn't, and it just completely evened out my face. Whoa. It looks so good. Oh yeah, and prior to um, applying the foundation, I used the Bare Minerals Primetime Primer. You do not see any pores or anything. It looks flawless. Yeah, the foundation doesn't smell like anything. It is fragrance-free. Put it on the other side of my face. Actually, you know, I think two drops is already plenty for one side of the face. I feel like maybe I should have just done one drop. Blend it out. Oh my god. This just sinks in. And it just completely blends into my skin. Whoa! Stuff is so amazing. Holy crap, it looks really flawless. I even brought my, um, I have my Bare Minerals concealer. And I thought I was gonna have to use it, but I'm not even gonna bother because this looks freaking amazing. It's not super dewy, it's kind of like a natural finish. Yeah, natural finish. It's not matte, there's just like a sheen to my skin, so it's, yeah, very natural looking coverage. Mineral Veil is basically Bare Minerals, uh, what's it called, a setting powder. Swirl, and I'm just gonna set it. This is what the foundation looks like right now. I have a total of four drops on my entire face right now, and it feels really good, it feels really light. All right guys, so right now it is 2.58 p.m. I know I started kind of late, um, but yeah, I normally stay up pretty late, so I'll for sure be able to show you guys a good at least eight hour wear of this foundation. I will check back with you guys in a bit, and I will also show you guys what this looks like in natural light. Okay, I'll see you in a bit, bye. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? All the discoloration and some of my acne scars looks pretty covered. It doesn't look cakey at all. And it just feels really nice on the skin. So I'll check back with you guys in Hello a few guys. hours. guys. Sorry for the huge close up, but ooh, I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like right now. It is currently 6.15 p.m. So it's been about three hours-ish and oh, ignore this eyebrow. I don't know, it's just kind of funky today. So, um. Definitely getting oily, so I would say that this foundation is probably meant for people more on the dry to normal side um, For girls that are super oily like me I would say that you have to use a very good mattifying powder or like a very good mattifying primer It's not a deal breaker for me. It's not like it's making me hate it because it doesn't feel Super heavy greasy. I feel like sometimes when foundations aren't meant for my skin type I would feel that um, tingly feeling of a uh, breakout coming along. I don't feel that way yet um, I do feel oily though Like I feel like I really want an oil blotting sheet to just blot down my face right now But I'm not gonna do that. I think that if you're somebody who normally blots Then this foundation will be okay for you I still feel like I really like it just because of how blendable it was and how natural it looks aside from feeling oily I feel like the foundation is holding up. It's not really smearing or anything I blew my nose a few times and I feel like the coverage around my nose is still okay. Hello guys So I'm back for my last update right now. It is 10 19 p.m. So it's been about six hours I know I told you guys I was gonna try to push it to eight hours, but it's not gonna happen because this foundation will not stay on any longer. <laughs> okay, so I know that sounds really bad and for some reason a part of me still says that I will love this foundation just because I normally like to blot throughout the day and just touch up. So let me just tell you what it is without the touch ups, okay? I am just really oily. I don't think that the foundation is rubbing off. I mean, I feel like the coverage is still kind of there. Um, it's kind of coming off right here, but I mean, it's not terrible. Like, I feel like I still have coverage there, and I'm just really oily. Can you guys see? 
I feel like if I just went like this on my face, I would just take some makeup off. So definitely really oily and I don't think it's really good for people with super oily skin like myself. But um, for me to wear this foundation, I think I'm gonna have to use a mattifying primer and use a better mattifying um, setting powder. Overall, I would say that this foundation for people with dry to normal skin, you're gonna love it. I feel like the coverage, the feel, the look of it, it's just so pretty and I really do like it. So it would be a 10 out of 10 for people who have dry to normal skin. But for me, since I'm oily, I would have to say that I'm gonna give this foundation an eight out of 10, which is not bad still, just because I feel like the only two points I'm taking off is because I'm really oily and it didn't really help control like the oil. But other than that, it doesn't feel like I'm about to break out. It doesn't, it didn't really even rub off at all. I mean, really, I, I don't feel like I hate it. I just feel like I'm really oily, but then because I don't feel like I'm gonna break out, I don't feel like the foundation rubbed off. That's why I gave it an eight out of 10 because my only downside about this is how oily I got. Some of you guys actually suggested that at the end of my first impression videos, I show you guys what it looks like if I touched up. So I'm just gonna take an oil blotting sheet and I'm gonna touch up so you guys can see how the foundation looks. And I mean like where the pimple was, I feel like the redness is still covered. Oh, so oily, you can fry an egg. Okay, so I just removed the oil from my face. As you can see, no more oily oily. And this is how much oil was on my face. Huh. Dab it on first. Ah, <laughs> Michi. <laughs> <laughs> Michi's playing with her toy. So I just finished touching up and it looks great. It looks like I just did my makeup. It doesn't look like there's um, that cakey look where you just keep applying too much makeup over it. Just from applying the foundation over the foundation again, it doesn't look cakey. So that's good and I honestly still would use this foundation. I'm gonna try to use um, different setting powders and different um, primers and see how it works. So I'll give you guys an update in the down bar down below in maybe like a week or so. So check back if you're curious or you can just tweet me. Um, and yeah, that's it. So 10 out of 10 for people with dry to normal skin. Um, but for me, because I am pretty oily, I would say at eight out of 10. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know in the comments if you guys have any more questions about it and I will get back to you because I do normally respond to basically most of my comments, especially if they're questions. So let me know in the comments down below and I will talk to you guys soon. And in the meantime, if you wanna just stay updated with me, follow me on my Instagram and I will see you guys there. Okay, bye and good night. You don't click it! Never mind! Okay, should I start or you start it? You always start it.